Hi. Thanks for joining me, Pastor Mike Ferry from Cornerstone Christian Fellowship. I just wanted to share some things today about uh, what's going on in our lives. Who's in control? What is God doing? How is he influencing us? And I wanted to just uh, quickly go to Philippians 2.13. I'm going to be reading out of the Amplified Bible. It says, not in your own strength. Not in your own strength. That's the key to begin this whole understanding scripture. Not in your own strength, for it is God who is all the while effectually at work in you. Effectually. That means the very utmost. His abilities are being loosed inside of you. He is fully engaged, working diligently energizing and creating in you the power and desire his effectual work inside of you gives you the power and desire both to will and to work for his good pleasure and satisfaction and delight I want to just think about that for a second he is fully engaged in you not your own strength but his strength effectually working Releasing, energizing, and creating you the power and desire. The power to do it and the desire to do what? To will and to work for his good pleasure, his satisfaction, and his delight. Well, think about that. You don't have to try to please God. He is effectually working in your life, in your heart, for you to have the power and desire, as it says here, to will, to make the choice, and to work, to have the power and empowerment to fulfill that desire that will bring to him, which is beautiful, his good pleasure. Have you tried to please the Lord in your own strength and failed miserably like I have? I recognized when I read this scripture that this was all about his work, that he was working in my heart to bring about a change in me through his power, his glory, his anointing, that I would be able to please him without even breaking a sweat, that I would be able to satisfy him, that I could meet his heart's desire, and that I would delight him, that he would delight in me. And this is your promise for you as well. And I wanted to tie that in with another scripture. How does that work out in your life? How does that function? Let's go over to Galatians. We're going to be in Galatians 5, 22. This is about the fruit of the Spirit. See, when God starts to effectively work inside of you, there's a transformation that begins to happen. And the Spirit of God that hovered over the waters of the earth as it was being formed hovers over you and is alive and well and has been sent by Jesus to be our comforter and our counselor. And the fruit of the manifestation of the Holy Spirit of Holy Spirit, not the Holy Spirit, of Holy Spirit, an entity, an identity, a person of the Godhead, is it says here, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. I like that. One of the other ones, uh, other uh, translations says that we have self-control self-control that is the ability the empowerment to do the work and to will to do the works within our lives that bring pleasure satisfaction and delight to our father so today as you contemplate these scriptures rest in his presence meditate on what the word is saying to you as an individual what is god doing for you how is his power that infinite power and strength being manifested in your life where you can rest in his abilities, rest in his strength, rest in the work, the completed work of Christ in you, and enjoy that presence. Take a couple moments, seek his face, and enjoy the interaction with a father that loves you and has passion for you and is in hot pursuit of you. And thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for reconciling us back together and showing us what a life is like fully immersed in the in the presence of god 
fully reflecting his likeness. And Holy Spirit, I thank you that you are at work. You're an agent of action and change in our lives. And we are manifesting. We are bearing the fruit and fruit that remains of the Spirit. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Enjoy your day. Talk to you again soon. Thanks for being with me.